If you're looking for a fast lunch or dinner idea that holds well in the fridge, but it's not just boring old chicken and broccoli, then follow along while I cook for you today. What have you got? <laughs> chicken and broccoli. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to today's video sponsor, Squarespace, and let's dive right in. Now, if I'm in a fat loss phase and I'm planning out meals to eat during a calorie deficit, it needs to really hit these three points for me. Firstly, have great flavors so I don't actually get bored of what I'm eating. Secondly, be high in protein to help keep me satiated, but to also help support my weightlifting training and maintain muscle mass that I have built while I was in a high calorie period. And three, be simple to prepare. I, I just, I hate doing the washing up, really. For the first recipe, we're making a lemon and garlic bassa. I love this dish, it's flaky, it gets crispy with the seasonings that we put on it, and it's just so satisfying. Fish has to be one of my favorite sources of protein. It's light, there's so much flavor, and it's really quick to prepare, which is perfect when I've spent a whole day working with clients or sat at my computer editing a video, and the last thing that I wanna do is think about what it is that I'm putting together for dinner. Now, the fish isn't going to last as long as some other kinds kinds of protein, so with this meal, I would only keep it in the fridge for a maximum of three days. Preheat your oven. We're going to be cooking this fish at 175 degrees Celsius, which is around 350 Fahrenheit. Pat the fish dry and season with Italian herbs and salt. Prepare your baking dish by first placing some olive oil along the bottom. Slice up your lemons and lay them across the bottom of the baking dish. Place your fish fillets on top of the lemons and then add some garlic. Bassa or any other white fish such as whiting, cod or tilapia are a really great source of lean protein. Eating a high protein diet can aid in weight loss even without the need for calorie counting or carb restriction because it helps you be more mindful about your body's natural hunger cues. Bake the fish for around 10 minutes. It's cooked when it looks fully opaque and it flakes apart when you insert a knife or a fork. It's so delicious and it's so light. I like to serve the bassa with a fresh salad mix. If you're short on time, just pick up a pre-made mix from the grocery store. And I like to use some lemon juice and salt as the dressing to keep that flavor light and fresh. All right, next we are putting together a sweet potato black bean chili. This is perfect for those cold, rainy evenings in where you want a dish that feels like a hug. Not only is this recipe nourishing, but it is also delicious. When you combine brown rice with black beans, it contains all the amino acids you need to create a complete protein. This means that together they contain the nine essential amino acids, which are required to build and repair protein tissue within the body. We're going to begin by dicing out onion, chopping and mincing the garlic, Slicing up the capsicum. And peeling and dicing the sweet potato. In a pot over a medium heat, cook the onion for five or so minutes. I'm using two tablespoons of water so that I don't need to add oil into this recipe. Next, I'm adding in the sweet potato cubes, capsicum, chili, cumin, paprika, garlic, and then I'm cooking it for two to three minutes. Now we're going to add in the vegetable broth and the diced tomatoes. Then rinse your beans, drain them, and add them into the pot. Increase the heat and let the chili boil before reducing the heat back down, and add a lid and allow it to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Serve yours with cooked brown rice, some salt, fresh coriander, and a wedge of lime for squeezing. This next one is half protein, half vegetable, and full delicious. On top of that, it is incredibly easy as well. It's my chicken zucchini fritters. You could cook up a whole stack, keep them in a meal prep container, and then when you're ready to have them, serve them with some fresh veggies and some carbs or a salad mix. Start by grating the zucchini onto some paper towel or a clean cloth. The zucchini does contain a lot of moisture, so we're gonna use the paper towel or the cloth to squeeze the excess moisture out of the zucchini. A lot will come out, but it's really important not to skip this step, otherwise your fritters are probably gonna fall off. Part. Transfer the zucchini into a bowl and add in the chicken, salt, egg, garlic, green onion, pepper, parsley, ricotta, and lemon juice. Heat a large nonstick pan to medium and add in a tablespoon of oil for cooking. Use an ice cream scoop or a large spoon to place the fritters onto the hot pan. And you can use your hand or you can use the back of the spoon to smooth out the top until they're about, you know, one to one and a half centimeters thick. Leave them uncovered while they cook and then flip 
and cook for another four to five minutes until they're cooked through. If you wanted to try these with a different protein, I also have some tuna zucchini fritters over on my blog. I like to prep these on their own so that I can change what I serve them with depending on what time of day that I want to have them. But regardless of what side dish I put them with, I really, really like having them with some plain Greek yogurt instead of sour cream and some sweet chili sauce. It's such a good combination. Do you want to try a piece of this for me? Just like break off a bit. Yes, I do. Mm. I like it. You can find all these recipes and more over on my blog Eat Run Lift, which is hosted by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all in one website building platform which allows you the easiest way to showcase your brand, band, portfolio, or whatever else it is you want to share with the world. They have a world class 24 7 customer support team available and the easiest blogging tools I have ever used. They also have really in depth analytics so you know exactly what people want to see on your site. I've been using them for over six years to host my two websites. It's really simple to create a website which represents your brand and they have plug and play templates that you can customize to suit whatever your branding may be. Not only that, but they also have some third party extensions which you can connect to your site to make the admin side of your business really simple. From accounting software to automatic order shipping label printing and you can start a free trial with Squarespace today if you want to experience exactly why they're my choice of web host. And when you're ready to publish your site, use the link in the description box or the one on the screen for 10% off your first purchase. I do have a previous meal prep video which also features some high protein lower calorie recipe ideas to help you on your calorie deficit, fat loss journey and still keep everything that you've worked really hard for. So if you want some more meal ideas before you go ahead and write up your shopping list, click the video which I will leave here on the screen for you. I hope you're well, I hope you're looking after yourself and I'll see you next time. Click.